Thank you for purchasing our Ruark R810. In this video, we will show you how to set up your R810 in a few easy steps. Included with your R810 is the R810 inside its protective drawstring cloth bag, the R810 bar legs with screws and an Allen key, an R810 stand, the R810 rotor dial Bluetooth remote, a telescopic aerial with spanner, the R810 power lead, and the quick start guide. Please note that the R810 is heavy. We therefore recommend that two people should be present during setup. The R810 can be fitted with either the frame stand or the bar legs if you want to place it on an existing table or cabinet. To fit the bar legs, use the foam inserts from the packaging and carefully place the R810 upside down. The aim of using the foam inserts is to prevent the rotor dial controller from touching the floor but likewise, you could also use some cushions or books to achieve this. With the R810 inverted, align the holes of the bar legs with the screw holes at the bottom of the R810 and secure using the screws and Allen key, like so. Once the legs are fitted, using two people, carefully turn your R810 over as shown and carry to where you would like it positioned. To set up the frame stand, follow the steps as shown. Make sure the stand feels strong and secure before use. Retighten the screws if necessary. To sit the R810 on the frame stand, carefully carry and place the R810 onto the stand, making sure the stand fits into the sockets on the bottom of the R810. This may require some adjusting, but once the R810 is sitting on the stand, no screws are necessary. Please note, if you want to switch from the bar legs to stand, you will have to remove the bar legs first. For all movement of R810 on its stand, use two people to lift it by the stand. Do not drag the R810, as dragging may cause damage to the stand and cabinet, particularly on carpeted surfaces. Before we continue setting up the R810, there are a few things that you need to consider. R810 is a product designed for streaming and making the best of content available online. In particular, with its internet radio tuner, you have access to national and international stations, many in higher quality than you will receive through DAB or FM. So if you do not require these functions, then the supply telescopic aerial does not need to be fitted. If you do intend to use the DAB and FM sources, then the supply telescopic aerial should be fitted and tightened onto the aerial connector using the supplied spanner and then fully extended upright for best reception. You should also ensure that wherever you intend to use your R810 that it is positioned where there is a good signal connection with your Wi-Fi router, as if the signal is weak this may result in unreliable performance. Wi-Fi range extenders can help this situation, or if you have the option to connect directly to your network by Ethernet cable then please do so. With mains power applied for the first time, firstly the Ruark logo is displayed and then soon after, R810 enters its setup wizard mode, where you are prompted to input language, location, and region. This is done by either pressing the arrow keys or rotating the control knob. In this case, we are setting R810 for use in the UK, like so. With language and location set, next, the wizard takes you to the network setup. 
R810 offers various options to set up a Wi-Fi connection, but here we are going to show you the two most popular. The first using Network Wizard and the second using Apple WAP. To connect using Network Wizard, click the control knob to select and then click again on Wi-Fi scan. The R810 will now search for Wi-Fi connections and once finished will display a list of available networks. Using the arrow keys or control knob, scroll to your network and then click to select. Next you are prompted to enter your Wi-Fi passcode. If you haven't already set your own custom passcode, then generally the Wi-Fi passcode will be printed on your router as you can see here. Use the control knob to input your passcode and finally click on the return key to enter. Connect in and then connected will be displayed once a connection has been established. If you input the wrong passcode for your network, R810 will inform you and then take you back so you can again select your network and enter the passcode again. Next, R810 gives you the option to change its name. This could be its location or your name but primarily it makes R810 easier to see as a device on your network, particularly if you intend to use R810 as part of a multi-room speaker system. If you choose to continue and not change your R810's factory name, then you can always do this later through system settings. But in this case, we're going to rename this R810 to R810 Lounge and then select Enter to set and continue. The next screen in the setup wizard provides the opportunity to set up Chromecast built in. This feature is ideal if you are an Android user or have a Google Nest Hub in your home as you'll be able to control your R810 with voice commands. If you are an iPhone or Apple user you may not require this feature as we will assume that primarily you'll use AirPlay and services such as Spotify Connect. Installing Chromecast built in is simply a case of activating your phone or tablet's camera aligning it with the Chromecast setup screen on R810 and once the QR code is recognised, open the link on the screen by tapping on it to proceed. To complete the installation, you must then accept a Chromecast built-in Terms of Service and then decide if you want to share device stats and crash reports with Google. Selecting Yes, I'm in does not share any personal information but simply creates logs for Google to analyse should a random fault occur. Once you've made your choice, you will see a screen on your phone or tablet confirming that Chromecast setup has been completed. You will see a notification on the R810 as well. If you choose not to install Chromecast at this stage, then it can always be installed at a later date if required. With an internet connection established, R810 now checks to see if there is a software update available. If new software is detected, then R810 will now automatically download and install the latest version. During this process, it is important that you do not disconnect power or touch any of the controls. Whether or not there is a software update available, when finished, select Continue to proceed. This completes the setup procedure, but finally you will see a message saying that R810's remote can be paired through the system settings menu. We will cover how to do this in a separate video. But for now, select Finish to end setup and then you will see R810's main screen showing a list of all available sources. To connect R810 using Apple WAP, 
Firstly, ensure that your iOS device is already connected to your Wi-Fi network. Setting of language, location and region is the same as described in our R810 setup video. But when you come to network setting, scroll to Apple WAC and then click the control knob to select. Next, you will see a message saying that R810 is ready to be set up using an iOS device. Unlock your iOS device, tap the settings icon and then Wi-Fi. This displays the Wi-Fi network your device is connected to and below this other Wi-Fi networks in your location. After a few moments and below this, you should then see R810 appear with its unique ID code. Tap this and next you will see a screen with a tick beside the network that you are connecting R810 to. At this point, you also have the opportunity to change R810's name simply by tapping on speaker name and then editing as you wish. In this example, we're changing the name to R810 Study. With the changes made, tap next in the top right hand corner to continue and next we see a screen showing that connection is taking place. Once connected, you will next see a message confirming that R810 has joined your network. After completing network setup by Apple WAP, you will be taken back to the setup wizard where you will have the opportunity to set up Chromecast built in and check for software updates as described in our setup video.